we embarked on another adventure in the final days of our journey in North Macedonia. There is an isolated living area just six kilometers north of the capital Skopje, about a 20-minute drive away. Known as Shuto Orizari, or simply Shutka, this is where only people of Romani origin reside. As you know, the Romani people constitute a significant population across various countries, particularly Turkey, the Balkans, and various European nations. Their population is estimated to be between 20 to 25 million worldwide, yet their exact official census remains unknown. In North Macedonia, one of these communities thrives. In fact, it constitutes the most extensive Romani neighborhood in the Balkans and Europe at large. Not only is it a Romani neighborhood, but it also has its own municipality. While in Skopje, we were eager to see how the Romani community lives and connected with some local individuals. The flag waving at the top of the neighborhood symbolizes the distinctive flag of the Romani people. Some refer to this flag as the Gypsy flag. You see, the Romani people dislike being called Gypsies and resent being associated with the term. Their character remains similar wherever you go in the world, and they assert, we are Romani, not Gypsies. This distinction stems from the negative connotations associated with the term Gypsy. Many Romani are hardworking, disapprove of street begging, and avoid engaging in illicit activities. Even tour guides, when pointing out beggars in city squares, distinguish them as not being their compatriots, but rather gypsies. Hence, Romani living decent lives distance themselves from the gypsy label and prefer to use the term Romani. If you examine the circular symbol on the flag, you'll notice the same symbol positioned in the center of the Indian flag. It resembles a wheel, at this point, we can anticipate that Romani migrated or were forcibly moved from India to the Balkans and Europe for various reasons. It is said that in the 8th and 9th centuries AD, Romani fled the wars around India or were taken as slaves and transported to the Balkans. They traversed Central Asia and even the Middle East to reach Central Europe, where they started anew. Throughout history, they faced various forms of discrimination, even after arriving in Europe, experiencing persecutions and deportations. Despite this arduous history, their most significant achievement is preserving their ethnic and cultural identity. Despite living under the roofs of different nations, they have not assimilated maintaining unity within their communities, establishing neighborhoods, and successfully passing on Romani identity and genetics to future generations. The talents and skills of the Romani people in music have been discovered and appreciated since those times, contributing significantly to the formation and spread of music culture in Central Europe. Romani people have stood out with their music and dances throughout various periods, showcasing genuine proficiency in this art form. If you spend some time in countries like Albania, North Macedonia, Kosovo, Bulgaria and Turkey, You'll often encounter Romani melodies and Romani artists in many local music genres. Perhaps the most significant contribution of Romani people to the world has been through their music. Unlike famous scientists, renowned sports teams or grand historical legacies, they exist throughout the Balkans primarily through music. They realize their entertaining and talented nature, leading them to invent mobile wagons and organize tours as traveling merchants or performers. Not only in music, but also through their dances and circus arts, they have managed to carve out enjoyable profiles. Physically, Romani people bear a striking resemblance to those of Indian origin. The flag's green background represents the earth, while the blue symbolizes the sky or heaven. Incorporating a vehicle wheel into the flag signifies the nomadic tradition of the Romani people, their endless journeys and migration. Indeed, while Romani people lead settled lives today, in the past they frequently sought new homelands. Without an independent and free state, they became citizens under the roofs of other countries. Lastly, during both World War II and the Yugoslav era, they faced various persecutions, oppressions and inhumane treatments. It is said that between 200,000 to 500,000 Romani people were killed in abnormal ways during wars in the past 100 years. Today, some refuse to be recorded with their ethnic identity as Romani to avoid facing new forms of discrimination and are forced to accept the majority ethnic identity of the countries they reside in. However, the situation is entirely different in Shuto Arizari in North Macedonia. 
In this area north of Skopje, Romani people are entirely free, with their political rights protected. Only in this region of North Macedonia do they have an area where they can feel at home. While they adhere to the laws and regulations of the country, they enjoy complete freedom in terms of lifestyle and have a distinct life separate from the city centre based on their own culture. People here reside in two or three storey brick houses, owning vast lands, with various individuals living in separate houses within the neighbourhood. This predominantly Muslim community shows closer attitudes towards others who share their faith. From an overview, you can see that they have established a peaceful and developed community. As soon as you step out of the taxi and set foot in the neighbourhood, you're greeted with a more modern way of life than expected. Lining the opposite ends of the road in the centre of the neighbourhood are shops mainly catering to the Romani people selling textiles and food products. The Romani people there have their own language. Since the neighbourhood functions as a municipality, its leaders are also Romani, they even have their own TV channels, and the people lead their daily lives entirely according to Romani tradition. You can imagine it as a municipality separated from Macedonia within the capital. Of course, people can speak the Macedonian language as well. However, they do not understand English. If you were to go there alone with a large camera, you would face serious reactions. Our guide is constantly trying to explain the reason for the camera to the shopkeepers, so we couldn't capture as many detailed shots as we wanted. Not to mention, they outright refuse interview offers. It's been said that social media content creators have visited here before, capturing images and interviews with the local people for various purposes. Essentially, the goodwill of the people has been exploited. Therefore, the Romani people in Shutka do not want cameras pointed at them filming or interviews conducted. Some rarely allow themselves to be filmed or pose for the camera. The rest show cold and hostile attitudes. Especially when interacting with them, I advise against using the word gypsy. Their perspective towards you can suddenly reverse and they can display hostile behaviors. This situation is somewhat akin to referring to black people as the N-word. Romani people almost hate the word gypsy. Therefore, when speaking with a Romani person, you should always refer to them as Romani. Romani means human in their language, and they like being called by this term. There's also a fun fact about them in this regard. If you're not Romani, they call you Gargio. This means you're considered a foreigner in their language. You can see plenty of textile products on the neighborhood's main street, or rather, this small Romani municipality. These products look exactly like the replicas of various expensive brands. However, considering these people have relatively low monthly incomes, they are not expected to sell original products. These clothes resemble exact copies of counterfeit products produced in China and Turkey. Even the market vendors admit that the products are counterfeit. If you look at the people in the Romani neighborhood, you'll see that although some have good incomes, the majority are low-income individuals. Even in urban life in North Macedonia, people usually earn a maximum of around 500 euros per month. According to our Romani friend, the average monthly income of their people hovers around 300 euros. Some don't even earn that much. Perhaps the most positive presence in this Romani neighborhood are the children. It's striking to see many children in the neighborhood, both in the alleyways and playgrounds. These children are mostly under 15 and predominantly consist of boys. Whether they will continue to stay and live in their neighborhood after age 18 or strive to move to countries like Germany following their university education remains uncertain. This uncertainty is due to the high unemployment rate in Schutka, around 50%, and even higher, around 30%, throughout North Macedonia. Those who do find work often earn meager wages. The beautiful market areas, playgrounds in the neighborhood, and the school and health center are projects reportedly initiated by the Romani mayor of Shutka. They have even built an amusement park. The Romani community genuinely strives to create better living conditions. Of course, it cannot be denied that some of the side streets show signs of wear, with some areas having broken cobblestones. However, solving all these problems at once is impossible for any place worldwide and requires significant budgets. Some of the houses where Romani people live are adorned with European-style columns and even long vertical columns reminiscent of the ancient Roman Empire. 
These mansion-style homes belong to those who earn better wages in European countries and build homes for themselves in their neighborhood. Ultimately, the basic economy in this neighborhood relies on those who earn money in European countries and bring it back to Schutka. Otherwise, it would be nearly impossible for the Romani residents to make substantial profits solely from their own community, mainly comprising small-scale businesses. Some Romani individuals in Schutka deal with large textile businesses, export goods abroad and earn money. However, the majority are small-scale tradespeople. Therefore, some of them must go to foreign countries to work, bring back the money and invest in the neighborhood. This way, the neighborhood residents benefit from this situation and sustain their livelihoods. For example, those living in these nice houses return to their neighborhood during the summer and organize big Romani weddings and parties. The wealthy Romani expatriate who wants to celebrate his wedding with his own people naturally rents a venue from the neighborhood, hires a Romani musician group entirely made up of Romani individuals and shops from the neighborhood's merchants for drinks and food. Moreover, they buy high-value souvenirs for their loved ones from neighborhood merchants, directly contributing to the Romani economy. If you see new model German cars, especially during the summer, rest assured that the owner lives in Europe and has come to their homeland for vacation. Romani people just like North Macedonians have a great admiration for German vehicles. However, despite some homes looking conceptually good, they are left in a brick state and unpainted. There could be two reasons for this. Either they don't have enough budget to complete the construction of the houses all at once and continue the construction of these houses at certain intervals, or to avoid paying taxes for a completed construction, they prefer to leave the houses in an unfinished state without painting them. Both options are highly likely. The workers involved in the construction of these homes include not only Romani but also Albanian workers. Because if you look closely at some workers and talk to them, you can clearly understand that they are not Romani. Right across from the multi-story, lavish, detached houses, there can be shanties where people struggle to get by. Those living in these huts have their own courtyard, and the toilets are generally outside. The interior of these homes portrays a more challenging life, and some Romani individuals must lead a modest life as much as possible. Despite this, Romani people are known to be quite courteous individuals. Some may even invite you to their homes for a meal. They offer tea, coffee and whatever food they have at hand. For instance, in one household, they happen to have prepared a classic Romani dish called Boronia and are delighted to offer it to you. It mainly consists of lamb, green beans and tomatoes. Most Romani people are familiar with this dish and enjoy it immensely. In North Macedonia, meat dishes are highly favoured and this preference also extends to the Romani community. Although Romani people generally enjoy spicy food, if you come across this dish called Boronia, you'll notice that they don't use enough spice, allowing you to taste the meat more distinctly. If you happen to be a guest at a Romani family's home, you'll see that the domestic life is markedly different between men and women. There's a clear division of tasks between women and men inside the home. In Romani households, the head, or the patriarch, is unequivocally male. This isn't a hierarchy, but rather, those who bring in money, deal with tools and household items and support the family are almost always men. At the same time, women typically assume the role of housewives and are responsible for all household chores. Men have greater authority and influence in general household decisions. They enjoy living closely with their children and elders and cherish strong bonds as a family. Romani people enjoy living together and being united. They give everyone in the family a say and respect each family member. They only differ in the distribution of duties. On the other hand, as you know, Romani people are among those who love entertainment and events the most. For example, they organize beauty contests within their community. The most beautiful and youngest girls from the neighborhood are selected. These girls dress in beautiful outfits and glamorous makeup at a rented wedding hall. The judges who will select the most beautiful Romani girl are also chosen from among the Romani people in the neighborhood. Based on the votes of these judges, Romani people select their most beautiful girl and celebrate it with dances, music and festivities. The girl who is selected first is presented with various awards, uh, various dishes are prepared for the events and presentations are made to the Romani community. 
In fact, these events are so grandly produced within North Macedonia that the president of North Macedonia and the mayor of this Romani district personally attend the event and honor the Romani people. Romani people are happy to invite and see political figures attend their events to witness their respectability. Given their significant voting potential, the president and the mayor must attend such events. In conclusion, Romani people continue to lead a divided life worldwide. Unlike in many countries, they do not have separate living areas like the small city here, and they live according to the rules and cultures of others. Although they mostly share the same ethnic identity and physical appearance, they are differentiated mainly by the language they speak. These people, who originated from India, are still searching for a permanent home as they do not have their own independent state today. Similarly, Romani people are hopeful for a change in the negative attitudes and perceptions towards them. For example, those living within the European Union countries often view Romani people as second-class citizens. They are subjected to negative stereotypes such as being poor, uneducated and thieves. However, as we have seen in Shutka, North Macedonia, Romani people are hard-working individuals who lead respectable lives with their families. Perhaps what is needed is for politicians who advocate for their rights to be more active and proactive in making the voices of Romani people heard worldwide, leading to a better understanding and recognition of them. This way, they can attain a more equitable and respected image in the countries where they reside. In this video, we made some observations and drew conclusions about Romani people based on the Romani region in North Macedonia, until another video, goodbye.